Flux 2 just launched, but can it beat Nano Banana Pro? Nano Banana is perfect for character consistency, even without using any reference images. It is also the most intelligent AI model we have seen to this date. And it makes super realistic images, like almost too real. But what I've seen so far about Flux 2 is that it is even better than Nano Banana Pro. And especially on the character side, it looks super realistic. But that makes the question, is it actually better or should you stick to Nano Banana Pro. For this video, we'll be using OpenArt as they have been giving me early access on Flux 2 so I can make this video. Also, they're running a massive discount in terms of their Black Friday deal and also they're giving unlimited Flux 2 and Nano Banana Pro with the unlimited plan. To access Flux 2, you want to head over to Image and over here you click on Create Image and then you can choose between the different models. Here we see Nano Banana Pro, but we want to choose either Flux 2 Pro or Flux 2 Flex. Now the Pro is the best model that they have and the flex model gives you a bit more features in terms of like controls what you can do with your image so for example if we go over here to the advanced settings then we can change the amount of steps that the ai has to take in order to generate your image this seems interesting this is for people that want to have a bit more control but there is a sweet spot to it so i wouldn't mess with this too much now for all of these images we're actually using flux 2 pro as that is the best model of flux currently available so in terms of the settings of flux 2 pro it is pretty similar to Nano Banana Pro. It's you enter in your prompt, you can add in your only reference, you can add up to eight images in OpenArt here. Then you can choose your aspect ratio, and this is 1920 by 1080 p And then you can have OpenArt upscale this if you want this, but this will be done like after the fact. So you can do this later as well. I would just do it without upscaling and then upscaling if you need to. Now for our first test, we're testing out realism. In particularly, I wanna see with text to image how well it does at generating a character that is leaning against an object. In this case, it is a young woman that is leaning against a vintage red car. Now, some of the details that I added into this prompt are that I have her wear a black turtleneck with a simple silver pendant. We have realistic skin and hair textures and the image is taken on a candid iPhone photography moment. So it's just like, hey, I whip up my phone, take an image. Let's see how well it does. We're starting off with Nano Banana Pro. So for Nano Banana Pro here, this looks quite quite insane like this is already quite hard to beat the main thing that i don't understand from this image is that we have the time in there because that doesn't really happen with an iphone image but it does look like iphone like it you remember how old ai had like a lot of blur in the background like this feels much more like a picture it also feels much more like a candid image yeah the lighting is super super good so let's compare that to flux 2 pro so if we take a look at this image we can see it's super super sharp the girl in particularly the details on her face are really really good and it appears that the image has been taken by a flash so it looks good it doesn't feel quite as candid and it doesn't feel quite as iphone though like i don't know about you but the pictures that i take on my iphone do not look as good as this it looks way more like that nano banana image and other than that it has a bit too much blurring in the background for my liking it feels more like a professional picture being taken at night let's do another example now i'm choosing an attractive swedish woman with blonde hair is showing a CeraVe moisturizer to the camera. It is in UGC style. So this is a huge user case. Like everyone wants to make UGC ads for their product and with AI this is becoming easier than ever. Now with Nano Banana Pro we got this image. Honestly it doesn't get more UGC than this. Like she's in her bathroom. We have some like light that is like getting into the lens of the camera and the graininess of it. Like it looks like this has been taken by an iPhone which is typical for the average UGC creator. And in terms of the text on the CeraVe. As we see, the moisturizing cream looks super good. We have, if we zoom in a little bit, that it gets weird underneath CeraVe. And then if we like super zoom in, we lose a bit of the details. Like it's getting a bit harder to read. All in all, just off the bat, just looking at this, this is amazing. Like I would use this in my ads, but let's see what Flux 2 does. I love the skin texture that we have on her face. Like we can see all the wrinkles, all the rimples, like even the details in her eyes and even on her neck like we can see like human skin texture like that's something that everyone wants in this ai space it also makes me afraid because like see how realistic this looks like if if someone is pretending to be a real person they can do that now super easy but let's go back to the details so if we zoom into Sir v right here we can see it is complete like ai mumbo jumbo it doesn't make sense we have roma in 
Daking Moisturizer. Maybe it is like combining a bunch of different languages into one and it tries to make words out of that. But I'm pretty sure that this is not a language. It might be Swedish, like this, this looks like a Swedish word, but I'm not sure. If we put them side by side, it is pretty difficult. Like Nano Banana feels more that it's taken on an iPhone, while Flux 2 feels like it was taken by a professional UGC content creator. Both could work, but in terms of the text, I gotta give it to Nano Banana Pro for this one. Okay, moving on to category number two, details. I wanna see like all the details that I put in my prompt if the AI can bring that to life. So we're starting off with Nano Banana. So I got this prompt right here. It's an extreme close-up of a high fashion, gorgeous 25 year old female model wearing a luxurious white fur scarf. And it's around her neck. She also has vibrant blue eyes and there is a serpent around her neck as well. We have hyper realistic, realistic skin texture, sharp blue eyes, detailed wool fiber, and we have snake scales that we can see. Quite a lot going on, like quite a descriptive way of describing our image. But with Nano Banana Pro, we managed to generate this. And this has been super, super impressive to me. Like this, the detail on her face, the detail in the snake, the blueness in the eyes, even the little hairs like on her cheeks, in between her eyebrows, on the left side and on the right side of her eyes. It's amazing. The white scarf is also super detailed. And if we talk about the snake, like it's super vibrant. It looks realistic. Looks like a scary snake though. But honestly, this can't be beat. Like let's let's see what Flux 2 makes. Now Flux 2 does a very, very good job at like the realism and the details. Like if we close in on her eyes and this image isn't even upscaled, the eyes look super Super vibrant the texture on the skin looks super sharp super detailed even like the freckles and the moles and everything honestly this is this is close up there like this for me would be in a similar category as nano Mana pro the only thing that's bothering me is the head of the snake like it feels off it, it feels like it's positioned wrong now if we zoom in on the scales of the snake and we can see the little texture the different colors like we can see a bit of purple in there gold and a bit of blue greenish honestly both very very good here it's just the head of the snake that is throwing it off for me but i think maybe with a few other generations this could very much work on flux too now let's add in some more details different kind of prompt and let's see what we can create so i have this prompt of a young woman with long white hair that is placing her hand on an enormous head of a dragon we have detailed skills in there texture warm soft light and we see the emotional bond coming off on this image. It is cinematic realism and we have a drift of smoke in a shallow depth of field. So for Nano Banana Pro it truly shines at this. Like look at how realistic this looks. If we take a look at that dragon like we can see he enjoys being like pet on his nose and we can see the smoke slowly coming out of his nose. She enjoys like petting him on that rough surface. I don't know why she does that but still there it feels like something emotional is going on there. Like I don't know what it is between these two but all in all this is super good. Like even her outfit is detailed. Even the dragon itself super sharp. I like the background. All of it looks super good. Now for Flux 2 it feels a bit different. Like it feels like a close-up but the background is a bit too blurry for me it almost feels like this is a computer game or this is some kind of fantasy where we have the soft use and we have the light behind our hair the dragon and herself look pretty good but i gotta give this one to nano banana pro but flux too it, it is up there like honestly given from where we have come from from a few years ago both are insanely impressive and super scary at the same time. Imagine what's possible with this. I mean, don't imagine because that's gonna get scary quickly. The third category is text rendering and Nano Banana Pro is already super good with this. So let's put it to the test and let's see how good Flux 2 actually is with this. We've already seen a bit of errors with Flux 2. So now let's see if it can do a better job. Supposedly on their website, they're claiming that Flux 2 is doing a good job at interpreting things and also writing text. So for this prompt, I got this article from NASA about rocket science. I don't understand much about rocket science. I wish I did. But let's put this whole text into a magazine article that has photos, typography, quotes, and some good formatting in that. So this is what we got on Nano Banana Pro. Honestly, this looks pretty good. I find it a bit too bright. Like it doesn't feel like it's actually paper-like. 
in my opinion. But overall, it is pretty good. And if we zoom in on the text, you can actually like read it and it makes sense. Like a rocket in its simplest form is a chamber enclosing a gas under pressure. Like there's a small arrow there, a small, I believe it's opening at one of the end of the chamber. And here in the opposite direction, we also have a bit of a glitch, a good example, also a bit of a glitch. Overall, it's not bad. Like it's, it, I would say like that this, this needs some fixing in Photoshop because the text, not the best, but also not the worst. On the right side, I also like the quote that we have over here it seems that it can understand what i put in there it understands the article and it makes something good out of it now let's compare this to flux 2. now on first glance flux 2 looks pretty good if we zoom in then we can see that the text again doesn't very much make sense a small opening Blah, blah, blah. I don't know what it says. I'm, I'm try trying to read it. <laughs> but yeah, unfortunately, the text is, is not good. Not sure if it's explaining the balloon theory here correctly. And other than that, quote looks good, but it, it doesn't quite get it. Like it does not do well with this text. I hope Flux2 is improving on this because otherwise it's a very promising model. Let me show you another text to image example. This time we're creating a comic. Nano Banana Pro is pro at this. So I got this prom right here, which is create a faithful one page RG style comic. And I gave it the full dialogue of what I want to have happen, including all the characters that I want to have in there. Now let's see how well it follows up my instructions and even like my text. So for Nano Banana Pro, we got this comic over here. If we take a closer look at this comic right here, and I will give you a second as well, then we can see that the characters are correct. The text with each character is correct and it's actually readable. It seems seems to understand what's going on and what we want to have happen. So yeah, there's not much to say bad about this. Looks pretty good. Like I'm not sure his face looks a bit strange here, but overall, this is pretty great. Now Flux2 is starting off from the looks of it quite good, but if we take a closer look at the text, then it seems that it doesn't quite understand who the characters are and what to name them. Like even we have like their name in the text bar, then here we have this character. This is wrong, like this should be the other way around. Other than that, it has like a few gibberish words that doesn't make sense. So it gets some of the words right, but not all of them. And that's the annoying part because this is not usable then. If you had to choose between Flux2 or Nanobanana Pro when it comes to generating something text related, I would choose Nanobanana Pro. The next category we're gonna compare it on is intelligence. So we're gonna use this image right here to see how good the AI is at understanding the reference image that we're adding in there. So we're saying, turn this Frankenstein story into a cinematic sequence of frames that follow the storyline. Use realistic lighting, realistic textures, and dramatic camera angles. No text, only cinematic film visuals. So this image is super hard to do. Let me explain while reading the story to you. So we're starting off with cold moonlight that is seeping through the cracks of a laboratory window, spilling a pill glow across an iron table where he lay. So far, so good. Then a Banana Pro done a really, really good job. Then let me just move a bit forward into the story. Something tucked at his chest as he is inhaled. Supposedly, that should be this the story is talking about like bandages stitched together his fingers twitched stiff and unfamiliar like they belong to someone else rough linen bandage wrapped around his forearm we don't really have that then the next image is about a low hum vibrated from the machine surrounding him so that's supposedly this image and then the next one is about a man stepped inside wearing a long suited stained coat goggles around his neck we don't really have the goggles around his neck but on his head um, so not that accurate then the next image is his hand on his chest, but I don't really see this happening in the text. And then lastly, we have him opening his eyes with thunder around it. Again, I don't really see this happening or I must be dumb, like I, I cannot read, but yeah, I don't really see this happening in the text. Overall visuals, we got a few of them right. So this is a hard test. Let's see how Flux2 does. We do have different scenes. We do have different images, but it's not quite, yeah, it's not related at all to this story. Like I've just, went really in depth into the story and I don't see anything that resonates with this story from the reference. So it doesn't seem to quite understand what I put in there. Also to see how intelligent it really is, let me show you this other example. I said label the F1 car with detailed diagrams. So let's see what it makes of this. For Nano Banana, it looks pretty cool. Like we have the soft tires, the brake ducts, we have side pads and air intake. It seems to understand what's going on with a Formula 1 car. I think like a few things are incorrect here but overall not too bad let's compare it to flux 2 i love how it puts it in this like drawing but <laughs> this part is called women's <laughs> i don't know <laughs> the text over here it's just completely flopped 
it, it doesn't understand images. It doesn't have the same intelligence Nano Banana Pro has. Lastly, on intelligence, a really cool example I see going around is adding in coordinates and times and dates in your image prompt. So I put in the coordinates of the Titanic uh, at the exact date and Nano Banana Pro created this. Like it's going down, they're on the ship right here. Quite an eerie image. Now for Flux 2, we are also on the Titanic. It knows it's about the Titanic, but it hasn't gone down yet. So maybe Flux 2 has a different timing that they're doing. They even added in the date in this image. Overall, this trend clearly belongs to Nano Banana Pro. So for number five, we're testing out if we add in multiple different references, how well it makes an image of that. Now, there are a few different ways to do this. So for Nano Banana Pro, you can add up to like four images inside of OpenArt. But if you have more images that you want to add in there, what you can do is you can do something like this. So I've added in a desk, a chair, an outfit, like all of the things that I want to have in there. And then we're giving it the prompt. Transform the man in the reference image into a cinematic Godfather style film scene. Keep the composition and the man pose the same. So looking at this generation, it got a lot of things right. And what I also like is that the newspaper is in front of me, like twisted around. Like the text even is, is still Still good and clearly readable. Um, the only thing, like it missed a few minor things, like it missed the books. I believe it missed the cufflinks. But other than that, this is kind of like what I imagined. Now for Flux 2, it gave us this image. I really like this outfit on me. It looks really cool, but it didn't get it quite right. We also have this random man on the right side. We got the outfit again on this side too. Painting doesn't appear to be direct. The lamp does seem to be right, but it's missing a lot of detail. So this one clearly goes to Nano and Nano Pro. For number six, we have prompt adherence. How well does it at following up your exact instructions? So for this one, we're gonna bring all of the big men together. We have Donald Trump, Bill Gates, Sam Altman, Elon Musk, Tim Cook, Jensen, everyone lined up at a Walmart waiting for checkout. Do you honestly think like these guys have ever gone through a checkout in their life? I don't think they do the groceries ever. I've also noted specifically that they are in character, like waiting at the checkout at Walmart. So let's see what it comes up with. For Nana Banana Pro, we have Donald Trump with the iconic pose. Excuse me, could I speak to the manager, please? Okay, that's a really bad Donald Trump expression. Then we have Tim Cook reading a book, Sam Altman on his phone as always. Elon Musk convincing Tim Cook that Brock AI is better than ChatGPT. Tim Cook again, also checking his watch like, dude, can you just stop talking? And then we have Jensen just happy to be there with his RTX. Yo, this is memes, like this is this is top quality. Uh, the image on the rest though, like it, it's, I, they put them side by side to fit all of the characters in there. It doesn't look too much like a realistic Walmart because they're all standing side by side, but it's packed in there. Then if we compare that to Flux 2, it got Donald Trump correct. Yeah, it didn't have any of the other characters correct. I wanted to say that it got some, but it only had Donald Trump. It also looks like they're going to like TSA or something with this bag. Like what, what the hell is this? Also the branding is off. Prompt adherence in this example, Flux 2 has fumbled. Nano Banana Pro all the way here. So there you have it. That was my first impression of Flux 2 compared to Nano Banana Pro. I would, if you only can choose one, choose Nano Banana Pro 9 out of 10 times. For characters though, I would test it out with Flux 2. I would try to generate for both of them. Now, if you want to get into AI filmmaking, you want to use these great tools like Nano Banana Pro, then click the video that's on the screen right now and I will teach you everything you need to know to know the basics of getting into AI filmmaking and making actually good videos. The techniques might be changing but the foundation stays forever.